Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an affiliate disclosure pop-up button for your blog or website using Elementor Pro. So an affiliate disclosure button is basically just a statement that discloses to your audience your relationship with the certain companies you are promoting through affiliate marketing. And by doing so, this allows them to make informed decisions about whether or not they actually want to go through with purchasing a product based off of your recommendation. So if you're someone who promotes products through affiliate links on a blog, you are legally required to disclose that information to your audience. And I'll show you how you can quickly do that right now. This is a very simple process that should only take you about 30 minutes max. Also, if you don't already have Elementor Pro, then I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the description so you guys can download it. Okay, so here I am in the WordPress dashboard. And before you actually get started, you'll need to download two plugins. So just go ahead and click add new and then search exclusive add-ons for Elementor. And then you'll go ahead and download this, but don't activate it yet because you'll want to activate the second plugin and then go ahead and activate this one. So then go ahead and search anywhere Elementor. So as you can see, I already have these downloaded and activated, but just go ahead and click install and then activate and then go back to exclusive add ons for Elementor. And then you'll go ahead and activate this one next. Okay, so after you have those two plugins installed, go ahead and click on AE templates, and then you're going to want to create a new pop up template. So let's go click add new and call this affiliate disclosure pop up. And then you can go ahead and click publish. And then now you can go ahead and click edit with Elementor enter and then go ahead and add in the pop-up so what we'll do here click on the plus button add a section you can add in a template from elementors that they have click on blocks and then just go with one of these and you can actually go ahead and customize it later so for just something simple let's go ahead and pick this one right here so go ahead and insert that okay so now that we have this here go ahead and update it then you can go ahead and exit and then if you're trying to put this on a blog of some sort you'll have a template right so go ahead to your blog template for us it's going to be on templates go to all templates and and Elementor single post template. So this is where all of our blog posts get put on and this is the template for it. So go ahead and edit this one, edit with Elementor. And then here's where you're actually adding that affiliate disclosure button. So as you can see, we already have one added here, but I'm gonna create a new one for you guys. So in the widgets, just search pop-up and here it is modal pop-up and go ahead and drag that in. So also for the affiliate disclosure pop-up, you need to have it above the fold, which means it needs to be disclosed to your audience before they actually scroll down. So as long as it's on that first opening window of the page, it's good. For us, we put it in the beginning above the article. So go ahead and drag that in. And as you can see, it doesn't look the best right now, but I'll go ahead and show you how to format that later. Right now, we're going to work on just getting the pop-up working. So the first thing you'll do after dragging in the pop-up is go up here to type of modal and click short code. And then we're going to go ahead and update this. Go back to the template that we created earlier. So go back to AE templates, click on the affiliate disclosure pop-up, edit with Elementor, and then go ahead and grab the short code right here. So go ahead and copy it. And then I'm actually going to create a new window so that's a little bit faster i'm just going to duplicate this window and this one will have my template for the blog post all posts element or single post edit so back in here go ahead and paste that short code that you pulled from the template and then a couple other things i want to do is just go ahead and delete this wordpress background and you can change the button text to affiliate disclosure okay so now that we have the short code added and affiliate disclosure is here and you can see the template we chose is popping up now we want to go back and actually edit this for it to be an affiliate disclosure. So go ahead and click update again. Okay, so now we're back up in our affiliate disclosure pop up window where we're going to edit it. So click edit with Elementor. And from here, this is where we're going to actually put the message disclosing our affiliate marketing with different products. So go ahead and exit out of this because we don't really need it. Delete that section. And here will be the heading. So it can just say affiliate disclosure and then right down here we can actually edit it over here on the left and say something like hey there we want to inform you that some of the links listed on this page are affiliate links that will help us earn a small commission at no extra cost to you period say something like we appreciate your support exclamation mark and here it is you have affiliate disclosure with a little message here letting them know what's going on you can go ahead and update this and go back to your article post page and let's go ahead and see how it looks and when you click on this now you have your affiliate disclosure that pops up it says affiliate disclosure hey there we want to inform you that some of the links listed on this page are affiliate links that will help us earn a small commission at no extra cost to you we appreciate your support so there we go it's above the fold as well 
And then actually, if you notice, it's a little bit big. So let's try to fix the padding on here a little bit. Go back to this window, go to advanced, and let's change the padding on the top and the bottom to 50 and 50 and see if that changes. Refresh this page, click on that. And look, it's just a little bit smaller, so it's not taking up the whole page. Looks a lot better. Actually, we might want to change it to like 75 and 75 real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. 75 and 75. Update this, go back here, refresh, and let's click on this. Okay, so a little bit better. It didn't really change too much, but that'll be okay for now. You guys get the idea. If you want to make it more padding on the left and the right, all you have to do is go back over here and change it to right and left, change it to 50, match it, whatever you want to do. So for the affiliate disclosure button, we can go ahead and format this now to make it look more like how we have it here on the right side. And here's how you'll go ahead and do that. Click on it. And the first thing you can do is go to style and put it on right align. Then you can go ahead and change the width, make it a little bit smaller so it's not taking up a lot of the page and just drag this all the way until you can't anymore basically. So right there, yeah, looks like 19 is as far as I can go. And then let's change the button typography as well. So click on this pencil and let's make it a little bit more bold, choose medium. And then we're gonna have to increase the width once again, right there, back to typography. And let's go ahead and underline this and make it all caps. And then once again, fix the width. So right there. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can do here. Maybe reduce the letter spacing a little bit. So just enough so it's still legible, but again, a little bit smaller. And then you can decrease the width once again. So it's just gonna be a lot of back and forth, making it fit perfectly. Let's see what else we can do. Go ahead and take off this padding here. It's just gonna add extra space that you don't really need. And let's go ahead and change the text color to black and then remove this background. So we'll just change it to a white color to match. And it looks like we also have a border type that's solid. So as you can see, it has a border there. Just go ahead and click on this and change it to none. So as you can see now, it just took it away. All right, so that looks a lot better and just the same as this pretty much. Maybe we could reduce text size a little bit. So let's go here and just reduce the size. There we go. And again, reduce the width. They're looking almost identical now. And let's see, you click on it, boom, it pops up there. And then you can also go ahead and just make sure it looks okay when you're on your mobile device. So you can click here on responsive mode. You can do it for a tablet or a cell phone. Let's go on mobile and let's see, click on this affiliate disclosure button. As you can see, it pops up here, but it's a little bit too far to the right. So we can just change that once again. And why don't we just center it here so we can center it and make it a little bit wider. So there we go. That looks a lot better. You click on it, affiliate disclosure pops up. So now it's looking great for our mobile as well as our desktop modes. As you can see, once again, click here and it pops up. So go ahead and update this and we'll go ahead and go to our website homepage just so you guys can see it. And you can click on now any one of our blog posts and there is an affiliate disclosure pop up that goes right here and it informs you. And one thing I just noticed is it's still purple when you click on it. This one is green. So let's switch this from purple to green. So right here, just go ahead and you can unclick the responsive mode, go back up to here and click on hover and the text color for hover, use one of your custom global fonts. We have this light green one we like to use and there you go. Now you hover over it and it's got that nice green color to it, which matches everything else with our site. Go ahead and update that. Check it out again on our regular homepage. As you can see, it's purple still, but look, when you refresh it, it switches to green. So perfect. So yeah, that's gonna be it as far as creating your affiliate disclosure button for your website or blog. Again, I'll go ahead and leave the link to Elementor Pro down in the description for you guys to check out as well. And yeah, hopefully this may have answered any questions you may have had about why you may need an affiliate disclosure button, as well as how to create one yourself. And yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, share with a friend, and subscribe for more content just like this. Here at StartupWise, we are dedicated to giving you free guides and tutorials to help you start your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.